Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. I want to make another quick video today talking about the ninth generation and will this be the last generation? Will this be um really the generation where we, you know, don't really see any new or upgrades or whatever? I've heard people talking about PS5 Pro, Xbox Series um uh, X Pro as well. And it's like I don't understand why we need a pro at this point, because this is already a 4K gaming console. It's one of the most powerful systems right now. And I was thinking about this, I was like, you know, do we even need another generation of consoles? <laughs> I mean, the Xbox Series X plays games going to the original Xbox, and PS5 is backwards compatible with PS4 games, and both systems basically replace the last generation and both systems are so powerful that's like how do you get any more power than what we already have today <coughs> because um you know will we even see a 10th generation right now i'm sure that we're going to have more different versions of the xbox series as well as the ps5 i'm sure that you know ps5 just came out with the slim um xbox series has the X and S, and they made the new S that's black and has a one terabyte uh, SSD in it. But how far will gaming go? I mean, you know, and from my like point of view, looking at this, it's like, I don't think I ever want to upgrade ever again, <laughs> because my experience has been pretty good. Um, we have fast speeds, we have the most powerful systems nowadays, they run in 4K, I mean, I guess if they were to make a pro version, they could do 8K, um, if that's even a thing. But, um, I was just thinking about this, and, you know, will this be, like, the last console generation? Will this be, like, will Microsoft and Sony just focus on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 for, like, decades? Because, I, I don't know, I can't really see any more new, um any more new generation consoles in the future. I can't really see um, a 10th generation Xbox and a, a 10th generation PS6 because like, it's like we're already at the point where we have the most powerful consoles and all that stuff. <clears throat> I don't know how more, how much more power we really need in uh, 2024, or going into 2024. But in my opinion though, um, well, obviously we're going to get more different uh, models of the Xbox Series X and PS5, but as far as like the 10th generation goes, 11th generation, and like the future, I really don't know if we're ever going to see like a new generation of consoles come out. Because, um, again, we're at the point right now where it's like systems are already very powerful, um, <clears throat> they're already very fast, they're already, you know, much improved over the last generations. We have really everything we need nowadays when it comes to these game consoles being super powerful, you know, 4K, um, epic graphics. So, I don't think we will see a new, new Xbox in the future, like a new generation, like the next version. I don't think we'll see a PS6, you know. I might be wrong, but it's like, I don't understand how we can get more power than what we already have. I don't understand how we can get even better graphics than what we already have. Because we already have the best systems <clears throat> currently right now in 2023. Um, so we'll see, what, we'll see what happens in the future, what the future will bring. But tell me in the comment section below what you think if we will get future generations of game consoles. But for me, it's kind of like, I think we'll get different versions of the same thing. But I don't think we will see a new generation. But anyway, I'm in the video, so peace out. And is this generation the last and only generation that we really technically need? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, peace out, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I hope you all had a good day or night. Oh yeah. It's beautiful.